So it's the penultimate episode of Season 5, and we're safe from relegation, but the battle for promotion is still on. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. And welcome back to the folks in Victor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot, and I am feeling mightily refreshed because I've literally just stepped out of the shower. So my hair is very fluffy. Well, I've just stepped out of the shower. Obviously, I've had a shower, dried myself off, and put clothes on. But <laughs> otherwise, it'd be a bit weird, and it probably wouldn't be allowed on YouTube. Um, but yeah, my, my hair's very. That was a tangent, wasn't it? I was just going on about my hair being fluffy. But here we are. Uh, we are today are playing Salford and Carlisle. So 11th and 14th at the moment in the table. We are in fourth. It's really good, but it does sound better than it is because we are five points off Plymouth in third. So we are just off and just losing touch slightly with the automatic pr promotion places. And we are only three points ahead of Oldham and Doncaster in eighth and ninth. So we could very easily slip out of these uh, promotion uh, playoff places as well. So it's going to be very, very interesting. But... It's been a mixed bag. We've played a whole month away from camera. Um, like I, I think I said I would. I can't remember what. I, I just I always forget what I'm going to say. We absolutely smashed our attendances on this one. 4,359 people came to see it. We got the highest gate receipts ever. The finances are were looking a lot better. Not so much anymore. Um, but we followed it up with a 2-1 win at Scunthorpe, which was very nice indeed. We then lost 1-0 to Port Vale. High-flying Port Vale at the top of the table. Came to Cheriton Road and beat us 1-0. Cambridge United were put to the sword 4-1. Stansfield getting a brace. Uh, Agbatoma scoring and Terry Scott scoring as well, who's... Come the end of the season, he's had a bit of a resurgence. He's actually started playing pretty damn well. 6.67 overall rating doesn't really suggest that, but he has. We got absolutely hummed by Crawley Town, who were 20th in the league. Yes, they beat us 5-0. That was embarrassing. It took them, I think it was 16 seconds to score their first goal. Then they scored another. Then we gave them a penalty. Then they scored two in the space of two minutes, and I literally gave up. I was just done. I was just, they... It was horrendous. Agabatoma was terrible. Luca Coco was pretty shocking. It, they, I think, I don't think they even really dominated the game. It was very strange. Then we played Plymouth um, at home, nil nil. We really need to win it to keep in touch with them. They, they came for the draw and got it. They did really well, to be honest. Uh, at Greenton Stanley, who are they? We beat them one nil. Uh, MTC getting back on the score sheet, which is good. And um, Fleetwood beat them two one with uh, Eric and Nan and Humphrey. Uh, ba I was going to say Humphrey Murphy. That's not his name. Bashir Humphreys scoring uh, after we got a red card, actually. They equalised, then we got a red card, but then we got the winner from the corner, which was very, very nice. And we've just played Grimsby Town, where we drew 1-1 away from home, scoring both the goals, as we do. Uh, we gave them an OG on the 82nd minute and then scored an equaliser on the 88th. So, today, Salford and Carlisle, and then end of the season will be Tranmere and Northampton, where we may be in a... In a automatic promotion race, we may just be in a playoff race. We might not be in either. So it's going to be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, today is Salford City. Um, are they still... I don't know if they're still owned by the Neville Zizzes and all of that stuff. Uh, if we go staff, all... I'm going to assume no, unless they're not in the game. Chris Casper is still a director of... Is that X man United? Yeah, it is. Goalkeeper? I think he was a goalkeeper. Was he a goalkeeper? I think Chris Casper was a goalkeeper. Yeah, interesting. And um, no new <laughs> transfers to talk of. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. I'm looking at Igalo because he's signed for Man United in real life. And I thought, let's have a look. So I've made an inquiry. He's 34. He's on 60 grand a week. His contract expires in December. I'm giving us 0 to 1% chance of signing him. I don't think we will. But, um, yeah, I just thought we'd, we'd give it a go. In terms of transfers, though, yeah, no one else in. These are the players that we released. Oh, let's go and see how everyone's doing. William Ward is at Braintree. Harry England's retired. TJ Bramble is still on a free transfer. Surprised by that. Brandon Thomas now plays for Chelmsford City. And Spyrite has retired as well. Oh, that's a shame. I thought he would have at least picked up a club. Bloody hell. He was still playing for the Greek under-21s team. So, but, yeah, uh, in terms of all transfers, though, uh, nothing new. Dan Cashman has left on a free transfer. We finally got him off. Um, the wage bill, though, he was out on loan anyway. But uh, that's it, because you you met Jake Turner. He was a goalkeeper. He's done pretty well when he's played. But uh, he's lost his place back. He's lost his place to Glasiak again. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, we're playing Salford. Let's let's get into it. This is how we're going to line up. Glasiak, Akotcha, Luka Coco, Bellahune, Woodward, and Uwakwe is going to come in at left wing back, because we are struggling. Um, Maskell's been injured. And I can't... Who's the other guy? Who's the other guy we normally play? The left back. 
Oh, Bettany. Yeah, he's injured as well on loan. I was wondering why I couldn't remember. He's on loan. Um, Harris and Frey in the middle. Scott and then Stansfield and Anan up front. On the bench, we have Turner, the goalkeeper. Humphreys, the centre-back. Aviero, the attacking midfielder. Crossdale, the striker. Agabatoma, the centre-back. Rigby, the midfield centre. And Atucci, the striker, to give us an option. Johan Tehorst has had a couple of games and not done much with them. Um, I thought Terry Scott had been playing well for the last five games. Apparently not. Let's give Aviero another chance. So, in we go. It might be one of those where it looks like the highlights are suggesting he's actually playing better than what he is. So now the issue will be left-hand side. Uwakwe obviously isn't a normal left wing back. I'm going to have a drink, excuse me. But yeah, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But, well, you know, I'm, we're, we're a good team. We're a good team. They're lining up an 8 4 2 3 one Wide men are obviously going to be the danger here, as is danger major up front. Um, he, he looks. He doesn't look too bad. Why don't we ever get youth prospects that come through like that? Bloody hell. Oh, by the way, our youth system and stuff. I know why we don't get a prospect like that, because our youth system is absolutely terrible. Um, we, I expect nothing less than a win. I do expect nothing less than a win. Um, we will, as well, we'll still be introducing the Patreons when we get... Good regens coming through. You will be named as a regen unless you're already a member of staff. So Sleepless Master, Ross Jacobs, you're already members of staff. Derek Murphy, um, sorry, or Osiris, sorry. You're um, not the manager of Ebbsfleet or Dartford because I'm waiting to give you a regen name because Dartford are not very good and I want you involved in the game. As they go along looking for Major, Luca Coco wins the header. Haig picks up the loose ball. And uh, it's nothing, nothing doing there. But let's uh, let's go attacking. Let's go. And I said I want to win. I said I want to be positive. So let's go out there. And we need to rein Plymouth in. They're nil nil. Northampton. They're playing. Who are near the bottom? Woodward over the corner swings it in and it's headed away. Workway will get there. Keeps it alive. He's past his man. Cross it. It's easy for the Shea and Haig is one on one at the back with the defender. And his shots blocked really well. Harris lays it back to Glasiak. Very calmly done. Really good defending from uh, Rourke Frey. He did very well there, actually. Glasiak. Good ball out to Woodward on the right-hand side. But nothing really comes of it. Let's drop that into balance because we're actually giving them shots. Now, Roche into Turkson. Turkson back to Roshesha. Roshesha. Okocha. Good interception. Up to Stansfield. Can't get there. Uh, and Vidiero into Anan. Eric Anan. He's into the box. Anan shoots and Sadic kicks it. Kicks it over the bar? No, he doesn't. He Saves it, touches it over the bar, is what I was going with. Uh, Woodward with the corner, fires it in. Okocha's at a back post. Oh, he's made a great save there, Mateo Sarkic, for Salford. And we are getting back into this game, it seems. 20 minutes gone. Let's demand a bit more from them. We are having shots uh, from range, it seems. Seven shots, only two on target. As uh, Hay gets in high. Woodward clears it away. Stansfield, good first touch, goes around his man. He's got Eric Nan square. He's going to go on his own. He hits the post. Oh, he beats the keeper, but hits the post. And it's another shot that counts as off target. Turkson goes back to Rashesha. Rashesha into Eden, into Turkson. Shepard, they've worked this well. Early shoots, blocked, and it goes for a corner. Bradford have got the lead. They've gone above us now as well. Plymouth still drawing, it seems. Eden, left-footed. In it goes. Haig is beaten in the air. Stansfield just boofs it away. That's another word I've just invented. Boofs. And, um, yeah, we're, we're going okay. We're going okay at the moment. So, who are Bradford playing? They're one up against Crew, who have got an injury. Okay, okay. well, taking points off Crew isn't too bad either, I guess. Oh, Avaliero's got injured. We'll bring on um, Terry Scott in there. Like for like change. They both know how we play. They're, 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 they're all right. They're enjoying it. They enjoy life here. Two low knees. From the bigger clubs, we'll have to see how we go on. I think next year, whatever happens, if we go up, we definitely need experience. I need to go and bring some experience. I think if we don't manage to go up this year, I think we still need to look to bring in just a couple of new signings. Not a big raft, but a couple of new signings with a bit more experience from the higher divisions, I think. Um, I am happy with the performance. We're just missing that, missing that little final cutting edge. Uh, what can we do? Let's go. Let's up the tempo a little bit more. Get the ball into the box a bit quicker. I think that's. I think we'll just do that one little change for now. Just up it. We're maybe knocking it around a little bit too slow, waiting for that penetrative pass. That's what tempo generally means in Football Manager. It generally means how quickly you move the ball. Uh, get the ball sort of in and around the box and up the pitch. So going for a slightly higher tempo may put Salford under a little bit more pressure as Haig picks up the ball that's a terrible clearance Scott Frey into Woodward he eats his man he's into the box Woodward shoots across goal but can't hit the target 
14 shots and only three on target. That is uh, really, really bad. Let's work the ball into the box and we'll whip. We'll get some whippage on the crosses as well. Eric Anan, not, he's struggling. Oh, well, he's doing well at left wing back. And Frey's not playing the best in centre mid either. Woodward into Stansfield. He's got Anan there. Anan with a header over the bar. And I think that's going to be his last involvement as we bring MTC onto the pitch, who has sort of hit a little bit of form. He was struggling earlier on in the season. But uh, he's doing well. I think Frey, yeah, we'll do Frey next, I think. Let's go Frey for Rigby in there. Uh, Frey, which is a shame he's not playing well. He's normally a good lad. He normally performs quite well. One of our standout players, I'd probably say, in the season. 17 shots and only three on target. Not testing Sarkic enough in Salford's goal. 20 minutes to go. Let's go back to positive and just see what we can do. Salford, though, have the ball with a throw in. Cheryl. Cheryl into Towel. Towel is giving it away. Rigby. He's fresh on the pitch. He's got fresh legs. Over the ball. Stansfield. Stansfield has been forced a bit wide. Can he put a cross in? He beats his man. Tries to square it. Tries to destroy. Square it again. It's bounced around. Scott's there. Terry Scott with his second goal of the season. And we make it 1-0. Just over 10 minutes to go. And uh, this is lovely stuff. Stansfield sort of just bundled his way through. He tried to put a cross in here, I think. It's blocked. Comes back to him. Sort of just gets to the byline. Shoots. It's, well, shot cross. I don't know. Either way, it fell to Scott. He put it in. And uh, that's worked out well. Now we can lower that tempo again. And that's 20 shots, 6 on target. Um, let's demand more just to make sure they focus, which is good. They do. They, they put their focus up. And we are 4 points now within a touching distance of Walsall. So we're not completely out of this yet. Shergill goes long. Okocha with the header. Woodward needs to get there and does. Harris picks the ball up. Back to Okocha. Goes long to nobody. Hammond picks it up. Out to Mayer, who's moved out to the right-hand side. Rochea is on the overlap. Rochea puts the ball in. Cassidy's there. What a block on that from Okocha. Shergill's there, puts it back in. Shepard can't get there. He's off. It's a penalty. I thought it was offside. It's not. It's a penalty in the 91st minute. Come on, Graciak. Oh, he stuck it really nicely into the corner. That is an absolute shit show, that. Um, don't deserve that. We were four points off also. It was all looking so rosy. In the 91st minute. What an absolute shit show. Haig. Back to Shergill. Shergill. Salford looked happy with that point. Cautious mentality in a 4-4-2. Rochesha comes forward into Cooney. Cooney all the way out to Towel across the middle. Cassidy. Cassidy into Haig. Haig holds onto it. Lays it out to Shergill. And they're not really getting men in the box for him to aim at. But he finds Mayer. Harris is there. Clears it away. MTC's after it. He's got on the ball. MTC's being forced wide. Crosses it in. Stansfield can't get there. Shepard with a poor clearance. Harris into MTC. Shot goes past the post. And that's going to be that. And Salford come away with a 1-1. Look at that. Two clear-cut chances. Three up chances. Hit the woodwork. They have had one clear-cut chance and one half. That clear-cut chance will be the penalty as well. That's how frustrating that is. 93 minutes are on the clock. 93 and a half minutes. Cooney's cross is blocked. We're going to be sticking in, what's that, fifth place. Yeah, six points still between us and the automatic places. As uh, Scott tries to run the ball, Rochesha picks it up. It's just sort of dallying on it. Stansfield had it interrupted. If we can get this forward quickly, but I don't think we're going to have time. Okocha goes along looking for Stansfield. Sergio clears it away. Luca Coco wins the header. Woodward will bring it down into Harris. And there is the full-time whistle. And I think we are, are mightily unlucky there. I do think we are unlucky. We won't say anything individually to the guys. But it's the stats would suggest we've outplayed them. I'd say we had the favourable highlights in that as well. But, you know, we go again. Um, Carlisle up next, 14th position. So, yeah, we'll have to see how they get on. But crew are in 8th. The crew in 8th? My God, they've dropped off. Bloody hell. Where did that happen? Uh, crew in 8th on 61. We're on 5th and 64. So, again, 3 points is the difference between playoffs and not being in there. And 4 points, 6 points, sorry, is now the difference between playoffs and automatic promotion. So, it'll be very, very interesting. The late, the late goal again. I really think I need to start working on um, dropping off a little bit once we get the lead because it's so intense, our game. I think the players are just getting knackered. But uh, we'll be back for the next game against Carlisle, and I shall see you then. So we're back for the game against Carlisle. 5th versus 14th. Um, nothing else has changed, nothing to report. I've gone very heavy with attacking training. All the, tra <laughs> All <laughs> All the training before this game. 
Teamwork, match tactics, attack shadow play. Attack wings, attack patient, attack overlap. Chance creation, chance conversion, ball distribution, ball retention, attacking free kicks, and then preview the match. Yeah. Um, if we don't do well in an attacking sense in this game, I might sack all my coaches. I might. I might just sack all... I don't even know how many we've got. I don't think we've even got that many. Um, uh, overview, coaching team... Steve Link, well, Steve Link is fitness, doesn't really count. David Dan, Lee Matthews, James Scott, Patrick Valerie. Your jobs are potentially at risk. They are potentially at risk right now because we have done so much attacking training that we should be scoring goals. We should be scoring goals. Two goals. I think at least two goals, I think, is what we want. That's what I think we should go with, at least two goals. Um, assertively. The un underdogs? Why the hell are we the underdogs? Um, I don't understand that. We're much higher out up the league than them. Um, what does Ross say? Go on, Ross. You do it. Your job's not at risk. Don't worry about that. You're still here. Um, we're also fending off interest for Ross as the assistant manager. Whenever people come in, he just we we have a little chat with him, and he's like, "Yeah, no, I'll stay. That's all right. It's all right, boss, Mister Left Foot. I'm happy to work for you." So yeah, it's good. Grassiak building out from the back. A Kotcha, not so much out the back. And then. Up it goes. McCormick's there. Masco into Harris. Scott picks the ball up into Frey. Frey is robbed by Walker. Walker into Harrat. Harrat plays it into Hope. Hope shoots and it's blocked. McCormick shoots. It's blocked. It's bouncing around. I can't see what's going on. Fell picks up at right back for Carlisle. Ball across and it's there. Woodward will pick this up. And uh, we're just about to get away. Do you know what? Are we going to go positive? We are going to go positive. Why am I asking questions and then answering them myself? I'm just a strange guy. Um, Ten minutes gone. Demand more. We're not playing very well at the moment. I don't want to drastically change my tactics when we've been playing so bloody well. I've got to remember we've just got promoted. That's the problem. Again, Masco with a good header. McCormick picks it up into Fell. Fell out to McAllister. McAllister goes back to McCormick. McCormick forced back to Charters into Harrop. They are pushing men forward quite a lot. McCormick. McCormick comes forward, takes it back to Fell. Fell tinks it in. Frey wins the header. Scott picks it up. Now, can we launch a counter? Scott tries to. He picks out a wonderful ball to Eric Anand. Anand's in. Oh, he's tucked it past the keeper. That's one hell of a counter attack. And we'll drop to Cautious. 1-0 um, up. Eric Anand, eighth goal of the season. Keeping MTC out the starting lineup at the moment. Scott here. I said, can we launch a counter attack? He launched that ball forward. That's a wonderful pass. And Anand tucks it past the outstretched goalkeeper. And with our first shot on target, our second shot of the game, we find ourselves 1 0 up. Woodward throws it into Stansfield. Are we not done yet? Are we going to go and get a quick fire double? Frey, ball across. Masco, back from injury in space. Eyes up the cross. Stansfield. Anand! Oh, it's over the bar. Should have done better. Should have done better, but didn't get enough on it. Let's uh, give him some praise. Why not? We're winning. We're winning. Yeah, fired up. Woo! Let's go. Stansfield not doing brilliantly. Masco not doing brilliantly in a return for injury. Uwakwe, unlucky to miss out the starting lineup, by the way. Played well at left wing back in an unnatural position in the last game, but he misses out because Masco's back. Woodward on the right hand side. And that's attack. Again, wing backs are needed as an upgrade next season. Harrat comes forward. He's gone the long way round. He's been not fouled as normally a foul when they dive in like that, but it wasn't. Glasiak plucks the ball out of the air. And uh, Carlisle on the attack again. Oh, are they? Bellahune intercepts really well. Up to Stansfield. Into Anan. Anan into Frey. Frey into Stansfield. Stansfield through. Our leading goal scorer for the season. Can't finish that one off. It's a good save from the keeper. Half an hour gone. And uh, we're, we are literally playing on the counter-attack here. Masco. Uh, Anan flicks it onto nobody. And that's easy for the Carlisle defence. Both, both strikers go and press the goalkeeper. That makes sense. Walker brings the ball down well on the left-hand side for Carlisle. Woodward blocks the cross. And uh, Walker's sort of dallying on it, but it's done well. We've robbed that, though. Stansfield. Stansfield back to Harris. Harris over to Frey. Frey's in behind. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, God. Was that a save? He's just missed the target. Dreadful finish from that position. Really should be hitting the target and testing the goalkeeper out. Woodward over the corner. Fires it in. A cot to the back post. And, and yes, he's got his second of the game. Ninth of the season. And we find ourselves 2-0 up. And that is delightful stuff. Three shots on target. Two goals. Four clear-cut chances. Carlisle might be attacking a lot, but sure as hell they can't defend. I will point out, the attacking side of our play has been very good. So, well done, coaches. Um, you know, I'm I'm happy so far. Maybe that's, maybe that's just a tactic. Maybe in a game where you just want to win, just go and train a hell of a lot of attacking stuff. Great save from Glasiak. I mean, we have done no defensive work other than 
learning the match tactics in the first day of the training this week. We have done no defensive work in this game, uh, in the lead up to this game, as Woodward comes forward. He's still coming forward. We're staying on cautious because I think hitting them on the counter attack seems to be working quite well for us, but it's been really good. I've got something stuck in like the back of my throat. It's very annoying. So if I have a coughing fit, I'll try and remember to edit it out. Woodward out on the right hand side again into Frey. Frey, there is a long ball over the top, and he's picked out Stansfield. Their defence is absolutely shocking. Stansfield in. Good save again. I say their defence is shocking. It was a very good defensive line, to be honest. It was offside. So, can't really argue with that, as they're, they're all fired up. So, let's get our boys uh, some praise. Yeah, I appreciate the efforts, Ross. You've done a great job. The, the backroom staff in this game have done a brilliant job of... The team talk, the training. I mean, I've picked the training. I haven't done any of it myself. I just let the coaches get on with that. But, um, yeah, this is, by the way, the advantage of picking your own training is that, one, if everything goes wrong, you can still blame your coaches. But if it goes really right, you take all the glory. It's brilliant. Um, Harris with the... Humphreys can't get there. It's over the bar from McCormick. And uh, they've gone very quiet, Carlisle. We can't hear you sing. I don't know what that, that was. No one's ever chanted that at a ground, have they? We can't hear you sing. That's terrible. Frey, what's the chant they do when I was Is this a library? That's the classic one. Frey, in behind, shoots, narrow angle, fell, brought it down and cleared it well. But, um, you know, Masco, well, I might have to bring you on at left wing back, you know. I think I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Nobody can stop me. Uarkway on for Masco, coming back from injury. So we'll come on, Stansfield on a 6.6. .6. Let's give a Tucci a run out as well. 20 minutes to go, yeah, let's do that now. Stansfield off, Atucci on as the advance forward, and uh, we'll give him a bit more praise again. Here come Carlisle, though, fell up the line to Hope. Hope, he's run out of hope, and Scott's picked up the ball. Scott, can we do that ball over the top again? He does. Atucci, fresh off the bench. Atucci shoots, it's blocked. It was a good block as well, to be fair to the defender. Uarque over the free kick, swings it in, back post, no one's there. Anand picks up the loose ball. Scott has a shot, and Oconquo makes the save, but we have a... <laughs> Right, no, Dave, remember, we're already on cautious. That'll lower the intensity. Tricker and Grassiak dives on it very easily and makes the save. Um, what can we do to make this more sensible, keep the ball and lower? No, that's a great ball over the top into Story. Story's through. Grassiak with a wonderful save again. And Woodward hoofs it away. Ten minutes to go. I don't want to really cock everything up, though. That's the problem. We're already on a lower tempo. We're already passing short. We're already playing out defence. We won't. Don't pass it into space. Let's keep the ball. Let's keep the ball much lower, much shorter. Um, in transition, we'll go centre backs and full backs. We'll slow the pace down. We will regroup once we lose the ball, and we'll still try and counter them though. And let's just drop off a little bit. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't automatically all backfire like football manager can do. And then you go and concede straight away. I got gotcha. you. Glaciak into Scott's a good little ball. Harris. Harris just taking his time. Enan on for the hat trick. Eric Enan's in. One on one. Oh, he tried to do that near post finish again. And the keeper makes a really good save. I'm tempted to go into set pieces and just keep like seven people back as well. Woodward. In it goes. Mellish is there. Scott can't get it. McCormick just hoofs it away. And Frey will take his time. Oakway. Standing left wing back is um, absolutely covered by blue dots around him. Bellahune all the way back to Grassiak. Six clear cut chances. I, I, coaches, I applaud you so far. David Dunn, that's who we're putting this down to. Great ball through to Frey. Woodward goes down the line. Frey, surely could cut it back. Don't just, I, uh, football manager, cut it back. Man City esque, cut it back. Don't always shoot at the near post. Woodward, corner in. Akocha's there with a header. Akonkwo makes the save. If it stays as it is, by the way, everybody. We're only three points off the automatic places, which is very, very good. With three minutes to go, we're going to do a time-wasting substitution. Substitution, excuse me, as I have a hiccup, and uh, it will be Terry Scott's had a very good game. We'll do for Frey, and then we're going to put an extra body in there. What's rude about a body? Tits. I don't know. Anyone who's an Alan Partridge fan, you would have got that straight away. But uh, 92 minutes gone. Atucci's on the ball into Woodward. Woodward holds it up into Cook. Fresh legs. Lays it off to Harris. Harris back to Humphreys. We are acting like we're professionals and we know what we're doing. Uarque in behind. Surely cut this one back. He tried. Slauson's there. Gets it away. They've gone three up front. And uh, our three centre-backs are dealing with it well. Eric Anand for the hat-trick. Eric Anand. Oh, he saved it again. The boy should have had a hat-trick, really. Story into Charters. 
Charters goes along looking for Cunningham. That's a wonderful ball. Cunningham's in behind, but he's offside. Yes. 2-0. If we get this 2-0 win and a clean sheet, it would be absolutely brilliant. And uh, again, kudos. David Dunn and the coaching team. Ross. Everybody. Apart from the fitness coach, I said he wasn't getting he wasn't getting any his job wasn't at risk if we didn't create chances and didn't win this game. Therefore he can't get the praise now that we've won the game. But well done, coaching staff. Round of applause for the coaching staff. We went in. Jamie Mascot, zero percent cross completion. That's pretty terrible. Um But that uh, I'm proud. I'm proud of that performance. Well done. Including the coaching staff. Oh, every single one of you. We've done that as a team effort. That goes to show, if you train attacking stuff, it, it, it seems to pay off really well. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is, by the way, the first time I've ever done that. I do a lot of my own training. I do do a lot of my own training and setting it up and stuff. That is the first time I've ever done a, a, week's, of a, week, a week's worth of training where nothing is defensive other than match tactics. And it appeared to work. And I'm going to do it against teams that... I'm going to continue to do that against teams I think we should beat. Next up, though, massive game. It's a shame we're going to do it offline because Walsall is next and that could potentially put us right back in the race for automatic promotion, which would be absolutely brilliant if we could just sneak in there right at the end. But we will be back for the final two games of the season where we find out what's going to happen. Uh, two home games is how we end as well. Tranmere, who are currently in 22nd, so we'll lose that one. And then Northampton, who are currently in 14th. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. The um, latest Back to Prem episode or series will be starting very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. Go and check out the Middlesbrough one or the Norwich save. Uh, subscribe to me by clicking the button. Up. Patreon is all in the link in the description below. T-shirts and stuff like that for sale. Thank you so much for watching. For now. I'm out. Cheers.